You guys know me, I'm a sucker for a good deal. If it's a good price and it's a good part, I'm gonna get it. I don't care if it's a no-name brand or it's no brand or it's a small brand trying to get out there in the world, I am gonna get it, right? But I have a warning for you guys today, so let's jump on into the video and see what I'm talking about. Right, so you guys will know, if you've watched my videos, something like this carbon rediffuser, right? I do love to experiment with cheap parts. The cheapest part on the internet, oh my God, which this was the cheapest carbon fiber rediffuser you can get for an E46 M Sport bar on the internet. Now, it's great, it fit really good, it fits really good, it's still really good, I love it, it's awesome, right? It is fiberglass with a carbon fiber overlay, which is a lot of the parts that you will find nowadays that are carbon fiber, unless it's proper motorsport, you know, like a proper full carbon boot lid or bonnet or you know whatever it is if it's full carbon you're paying the dollars right you can't just get like a pretty piece that's not really going to do any weight saving really um it's just going to look the part it's not going to be hydro dipped but it's as close as you can get while still saving dollars okay now the warning i have for you is some parts you do have to spend a bit more money and my example is this car cover right terrible timing for someone to start grinding but whatever this was cheap this is the third one I've gone through. And as much as it's got a soft underlayer so it doesn't scratch the paint as much, obviously, as long as you got the car clean and so on and so forth, it's all well and good. All right, nice soft layer, lovely. Nice weatherproof layer, lovely. But oh, what's that? Oh, it's split. Oh, what's that? It's ripped. Okay, that was my fault because I closed the boot lid and it was caught in the corner. But if you look, see the little flaky bits? Yeah, look at this. Just a little flake everywhere. Oh, a little teaser of the exhaust. Mm. Um, yeah, look, it, it sucks. There's little bits everywhere. It's literally all over my garden and it's fallen to pieces. Now, the it's not that's not too bad, right? Look at this. That was me. Whoops. The thing that really bugs me is it's waterproof. Was waterproof for a couple of weeks. And then all this stuff starts falling off. And then all of a sudden, you've got water going in the grills back here. Obviously there's grills back there. I'm putting my fingers in it right now, right? That goes to the engine bay. And as you guys probably know, I don't have that drip tray there at the moment because it doesn't need to be there because obviously I've got a car cover on, but what happened? Water gets down there, right? Thankfully I caught it early. I just got paranoid about it one day, had a look and there was a little bit of dampness around the place. So dried it all up, all good. And I've actually got that under tray sitting on top of the engine at the moment. Sneak peek, mm. um, yeah, because when it rains, obviously this isn't waterproof anymore. So it drips through and it can go into where you don't want it, right? So, can you shut up? So my warning is, please be warned that sometimes when you buy cheaper parts, you don't always win out of it. There are the losses that come with the wins. Carbon fiber diffuser, big win. These are indicators, big win. But this, big loss. And when I say big loss, obviously it's not a big expense loss because they're like 30 bucks. But when you pay 30 bucks and then you pay 30 bucks and then you pay 30 bucks, you probably should have spent 100 bucks or 120 bucks on a good quality one that will actually last. Make sure that you're getting the multi-layer, the weatherproof, the blah, 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 if that's what you're gonna need it for, which for me, that's the sky, so I need it for to be pro like properly weatherproof out here. Now today we actually have a a sponsor, kind of uh, company reached out and said, "Can you do an honest review on our product?" So let's go on and quickly do that. Today's sponsored ad, I guess you could call it, because they sent it out for free, which was nice, is Diabit. Diabit. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. OBD2 scanning tool, right? So this is a obviously an OBD2 scanner. Plug it in download it onto your phone and get it working. So I'm gonna go through the steps with you right now to show you how simple and easy it is to, to work and install. So firstly, we're gonna plug it into the car. So then we're just gonna turn the car on and we're going to scan the back of the box. QR code, you just scan it and it gives you all the instructions on how to set it up. It gives you the app and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna quickly scan that, get the app onto the phone and then show you guys. So once we scan the QR code, come to this website, hit download, installs the app straight to your phone, and then bam, hit open, loads a little bit, and then you're in. Put your car's details in, 
connects to the scanner, and then you've got your dashboard. Now you slide across to that. You've got all your different RPM, fuel consumption, a whole bunch of different gauges, and then you've even got custom gauges. You can pick whatever you want to go on that screen. You come back, scroll down, you've got a whole bunch of different features. You've got diagnostics, you've got fault finding, you've got vehicle information, whatever you want, have a scroll, see what you want. So as you saw there, very, very simple. You scan the QR code, takes you straight to the website, hit download, downloads, and it connects straight to the OBD2 scanner. And you just put in the, your car's details. Obviously, mum were already in there for the Haval GT. And you can go through all of those different settings that we just spoke about. It's really good. It's really simple. The link is going to be in the description if you want to go and buy one. Uh, sorry, I don't have a discount code or anything, but... Maybe I do. Did they give me one? If I if they gave me one, it'll be in the description. If they didn't, then well, you can go down there and have a look. I'm gonna be using this thing because it's actually, I've got a OBD 11, or I think it's called, um, and it's okay, but it's not the greatest. Now, little disclaimer, it doesn't work on the crown. So for you crown boys that have been watching this and you're like, oh sick, I'm gonna get it for the crown. Don't, don't worry about it. 186s, it doesn't work, it doesn't compute. Unfortunately, I did try it on there and it didn't work. It's more newer cars, so if you've got things like Golf GDIs and, you know, all your newer cars that aren't from Japan, maybe, <laughs> they'll probably work on. I would say it would work on the Beamer, but obviously I don't have a battery in the Beamer, and I don't have an engine in the, well, connected into the Beamer, so it's a little bit hairy on that one. Uh, but yeah, it's the newer cars it's going to try. I'm sure they have on their website a list of cars that it will work with, so go and do your research, and then you can go and buy one. So thank you, Diabit, for... I guess sponsoring today's video, could I call it? You've given me the item, so I technically got paid for it by a free item. But look, it's a it's a nice device. It's nothing that's gonna blow your mind. It's not like, oh my God, it made my car faster and things like that, but it is a good device. So if you wanna go and get yourself an OBD2 scanning tool, this seems like a very nice one that is very uh, user-friendly. So without further ado, let's get back to the video. So sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. That right there, I can, like I said in a previous video, I can get carbon fiber overlaid fiberglass version of that, which I'm gonna get because that's probably the only piece of black apart from the kidney grills, which I do like them being um, gloss black. I'm not gonna get carbon ones of those, but that's the only bit of black that's actually on the whole car. The front lip is carbon, rear lip is carbon, um, interior carbon, there's a whole bunch of carbon on this car. So I'm gonna change those out, but they're like 120 bucks shipped and I need to risk it for the biscuit. Do I go and get that or do I go and spend $400 and get ones that I know will be good, but I'm also gonna spend $400 on them. You know, I'd rather have 280 bucks sitting in my back pocket so that I can go and get the new cam non-camber tops for my coilovers and get my coilovers in, which we'll be doing very soon. But I just wanted to give you guys a warning because obviously I'm the king of trying to get deals, trying to get the AliExpress thing that is cheap, but is actually worth getting, things like that, because there's a lot of stuff on eBay, on AliExpress that sucks, but there's a lot of stuff that's really good and you can save yourself a lot of money, okay? So do you wanna risk it? Do you not wanna risk it? Essentially, this is, sounds like a gambler, but I think over my time of buying car parts, I am significantly ahead with money due to doing things like that, looking for part numbers, looking for non-OEM parts that work fine. For example, the window winder on the driver's side of the Supra, I changed it 12 years ago for a non-genuine part, still working. I saved myself like 300 bucks there, still working. So it's up to you guys, obviously, but I did want to give you a warning because sometimes, like the car cover, you can buy a part and it sucks. And then you just get caught in this, oh, but it's cheap. And you keep buying it and it keeps sucking. <laughs> but sometimes you just go and get the better, the better version, right? So I hope that does help some of you guys. Yes, it's worth the risk sometimes, but you will get burnt every now and then. And it's okay because in the long run, we are ahead, okay? Do your research. Take your risks if you want to. It's on you, but I'd like to. It's a bit of a game. Thank you for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got a little bit of info, a little bit of help, a little bit of uh, a little bit of entertainment for your day. Thank you for coming along. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.